Guys, welcome back to another Midweek Momentum. Last Sunday, we heard that fellowship is a distinguishing mark of born-again believers. To have fellowship with God, fellowship in love means obedience to God, being in His will. From 1 John 2, verses 2 through 6, from the message it says, Here's how we can be sure that we know God in the right way. Keep His commandments. If someone claims, well, I know him well, but doesn't keep his commandments, he's obviously a liar. His life doesn't match his words, but the one who keeps God's word is the person in whom we see God's mature love. And this is the only way to be sure we're in God. Anyone who claims to be intimate with God ought to live the same kind of life Jesus lived. I read in the book of Hebrews on Sunday the interaction between Jesus and God, which revealed Christ's willingness to do his Father's will. It is recorded in Hebrews that Jesus says, Here I am. It is written about me in the scroll. I have come to do your will, my God. And this is repeated in verse 9. Then he, Jesus, said, Here I am. I have come to do your will. He sets aside the first to establish the second. Many times in the New Testament, we are called to be in the light. And we get in the light by living the same kind of life Jesus lived. 1 John 2 continues in verse 7. My dear friends, I'm not writing anything new here. This is the oldest commandment in the book, and you've known it from day one. It's always been implicit in the message you've heard. On the other hand, perhaps it is new, freshly minted as it is in both Christ and you, the darkness on its way out and the true light already blazing. Anyone who claims to live in God's light and hates a brother or sister is still in the dark. It's the person who loves brother and sister who dwells in God's light and doesn't block the light from others. But whoever hates is still in the dark, stumbles around in the dark, doesn't know which end is up, blinded by the darkness. Can you be totally in the light on this side of heaven? We run around this world thinking we have the light until we're exposed to the light. And you know what? We don't like that light. It's too hard. So we go back to the dark until we realize how much more beauty and satisfaction and comfort there is in the light. But still, we remember the past and we are drawn back to that understanding. Familiar friends, familiar ways, familiar habits. What is that which is not the light, but we thought was the light? What did John call it? What do we call it? If you join me Sunday, you'll find out what the one we follow calls it. Let's pray. Our Father, we thank you that you have revealed yourself to us in such beautiful, all-encompassing ways that we can understand. We thank you for your spirit that helps us to understand the words that have been written in our Bible. Thank you for revealing it, your Son and his love for us. Help us to live more like Jesus so that we can remain in the light and then help us to shine that light so others are drawn to you. We ask in Jesus' name and for his sake. Amen.